From this video, we will know what's new in the new version of Tesla's Cutter 2. 30. The main feature we added in the new version is working with common databases by using scripts. We preliminarily created some project that used possibility to insert fields in our new database and read fields and use some buttons that execute some scripts. We, buy, we bound this script to this text in search, update, read and delete. To read this databases we, we add new graphical object named database table. You can find it in databases collection. Now let's see new script commands. In the first script we create database and create table. You can execute the script one time just in just to create the script. In the first script we create names of our database, create table name and create some columns name and concatenate these names and separate this by commas. In this command we use creating database connections. You can find all this command in our user manual. First input is name of our database, second username and third password. Username and password you can use for creating MySQL connections. For SQLite you can you don't have to use username and password fields. Now we create table. First input is database name, second is table name and third columns name separated by commas like in our string columns. And this command is close out the back connection. You can finish off all the script by this command, by all scripts for communication with databases by this script command. Close the back connection. It contains one input database name. Now let's see our uh, scripts that used for insert fields in our database. This commands we, we we can see in, we could we could see in our previous script and now let's see in our new command insert values into the bear. First input is database name, second that table name and this is values of our of new row. First they bound to the te text used bound to these fields. And the values should be also separated by commas. And at the end close connection. This is update script. The first fields of the first rows of the script are the same as in, pre as in previous scripts, and now we should read ID of our row that we want to update. To do this, we use this control. It change number of rows that we want to update, and by using this script, we read ID. I forgot to tell you that when you create table name, automatic, automatically created after incremented column ID with slash. And we should read this ID. The first input is database name, the second table name, and the third input is field that what we want to read. In this field, we can use condition for the 
read value, the, the row that we want to read. And the second, the fifth input is position in the in the result set of rows that we get by using by using reading function reading script for our database and we read id and now we want to update values in this row first input database name second table name and third is the name of the column we want to change and fourth input is condition id should be equal the id we read before and now we add name of this we enter in the last field we enter values that we want to update and it's named bound to text name text under name name and the same scripts for changing other fields of our other columns of our row at the end close the back connection reads should read script we used to read our Mm, the sum field of the to, to read columns for the row. The first tricks of the scripts are the same, and the we at the beginning we read ID of the reading row. We use the same script as in before. And to read, we use script name read value from db. First, db name, second parameter, table name, and third parameter, name of the column we want to read. And third is id. id of the row we want to read, its condition. You can use the same. Script count like in this, but at the end, enter first row. So, not take not by dividing comma by comma and enter one. For to read other columns, we use, we use the same script read, read value from the bear, but using the other column names parameter one. It's parameter 1 and parameter 2. Close the back connection. And to delete, we use the same scripts at the beginning, including region ID, and at the end, delete row in the bear. The bear name, table name, and condition ID equal ID from of the position in, in text position. Because all the script you should execute i i will i will not do it do it because i executed it before and now let's demonstrate how it works stop let's insert When we inserted this script, it's showed in our database. We can change, for example, some name. It's turn off short part the values at the end. It's a new feature we added in, in this version. I, I will talk this before. For example, title. Title one here parameter two one for example and here for example other parameter and insert 
Now here we can change, for example, title to, for example, and we enter our second row in our table and click update. The row is changed. Now we can read all parameters read it in these fields. We can read other other field, its name and other parameters. And we can change, for example, first row, delete first row. It deleted. Also, you can do it by using context menu for the table. At, for example, at we have the same, and we can, for example, edit this. For example, title three of the parameter. It's changed, and also you can delete this row and save report. For example, in the field downloads, name of the title, and we can find this Excel report in downloads folder. It's content uh, all fields in, in, in this moment. We it demonstrates all fields of our table. In this moment, we have got on only one row title two and parameter of this row. You can also create not only SQL live script, but also SQL MySQL script. To do this, you can create database name with GDBC MySQL at the beginning, address of this MySQL server and name of the location. Let's Start. It's created, and we use duplicate this uh, table and use this database name in our table. Let's see. Now it's empty. To insert some value, we should here change the by name and let's execute. And now we should have some value. Yes, title two. It's value from this table name. That's all about database script. If you've got any questions, write us in by email or ask this question in forum. Also, as I described, as we see before, we add some feature in ID and in Tesla SCADA there are two runtime for desktops. We can see property values to you in execution. For example, to do this, you should point to the graphical objects and you can see all parameters of this, all properties of this button of this graphical objects. You can see output, text input, 
these parameters that we use in these properties of this object that we enabled. Also, in the new version of Tesla SCADA 2, we add some feature for Tesla's for Siemens server. We add possibility to read maximum register, not one point registers, by doing reading values, doing reading registers from the PL, Siemens PLC. This feature works only for desktop versions of our product and Android version. It unfortunately doesn't work for iOS versions. That's all. If you've got any questions, please write, us, write them in our email or ask them in our forum.